Hello and welcome to the NBS show, episode number 445. I'm your host, Ron Alfonso. And well, um, as you might can, <laughs> as you can see, uh, we're trying out new things. Woo! And we, uh, the, the camera is here instead of there. But some things are the same. Um, I haven't changed much, but uh, the location is still the same. So, anywho, let's get right into it. Uh, in today's news, King of Pony King adds Nightmare version of the main six. All right. Uh, the Game of My Little Pony game keeps trucking along with brand new concept. This time around, a Nightmare Before Christmas update with the main six Nightmare field for the holidays. So let's see, uh, The Nightmare Before Heartswarming, Trixie Luna Moon uh, unintentionally turns her friends into nightmare ponies, help the main six to become themselves again and return to their normal lives. Rise of the Cyber Ponies, Robo Ponies are incoming and Fluttershy needs your help to stop them. The, the distant future of every pony depends on this task. Hmm, okay, hmm. Let's see the picture. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Um, that's cool. <laughs> okay, um, for you guys at home who got no idea what are the Nightmare Ponies, uh, this is uh, from the comic arc. Uh, I think it's the second comic arc after the return of Queen Chrysalis. So, uh, in the comic, uh, Rarity's uh, um, Nightmare Moon's smoke gas thingy uh, get into Rarity and turn her into Nightmare Rarity, where she, well, becomes evil. It is an interesting comic, but it's one of those things where the concept was interesting, but it had such high hopes, or it had such... A bar that it needs to pass after the return of Queen Christmas, uh, drawn by Andy Price and written by Katie Cook. So, uh, this one, <clears throat> it's interesting. It's interesting. I never, <laughs> I rarely report on game loves because it's one of those things where if you play the game, it's awesome. If you don't play the game, it's all good because it's one of those uh, town builder game where it's okay. It's nothing new or nothing fancy uh, it's no cyberpunk at least well <laughs> it's better than cyberpunk that's for sure it has no bugs <laughs> and it works as intended so anywho um, other than that this is an interesting update and I forgot my point uh, this is an interesting update and Gameloft has done a lot with the IP and branching out with certain things they they have how do I put this? Um, the they it's like Gameloft themselves have a lot of content in front of them, or have a lot of uh, yeah content in front of them to pick and choose. Because uh, I, I'm I'm guessing that they are uh, people who are working on this are a fan of the show. They know what's going on. They enjoy making the game and enjoy playing the game, I guess I'm not 100% sure. And they also watch the show, like us fans. And when I played the game, it was a lot of fun uh, building towns. It's like a town builder game. Um, get more stuff to do stuff, ask friends for help and so on. So if you're a fan of those kind of games, it's going to be awesome for you. Unfortunately for me, I am not a fan of those kind of games. But from what I played of it, it was okay. So, them having a lot of content to pick and choose from is uh, it's awesome on them. And if you play the game, that's still awesome. Other than that, I, I can't say much. I do like how some of the um, girls here turn into... Well, uh, I do like how Game Love picks and choose what character gets what uh, except for Rarity Rarity is kind of quote unquote canon in terms of the comic book world 
we see what Pinkie Pie here gets r- really frizzy hair and whatnot, and uh, somehow Rainbow Dash gets uh, uh, metal attachments to her wings. So does Twilight. I mean, the rest of the girls here look badass and evil, except for Fluttershy, who just grows bigger and just a bit darker in tone. <laughs> like, um, there's nothing much wrong with Fluttershy, except that she's evil. Ooh, look at those scary butterflies. Uh, but still, uh, all joking aside, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. So let's move on to the next news. Um, Next and last. And New Tales of Equestria, the compendium of Equestria book arriving early 2021. So let's see. <clears throat> uh, coming in early 2021, the compendium of Equestria is the new hardback book for Tales of Equestria, a must-have for GMs and players wanting to include the latest and greatest tale of Equestria content in well a brand sorry content as well as brand new creatures, characters, adventures and items. GMs can use both the location and GM toolkit section to help fill their tale of Equestria game with deep and interesting settings and plenty of new features including talents and magical treasures. Players will find a playable race. Sorry, a new playable race. Expanding the option presented in the core rulebook, the bestiary, sorry, uh, the bestiary of Equestria, and the movie source book. Together, you will find some great new spell and talent to use in your adventure. Finally, you'll find a fully self-contained adventure. Flim flam alakazam. They can be used as standalone story or as part of a longer campaign, and it's a great opportunity to make use of the new content presented in the rest of the compendium. Wow, that was a lot of things that I just read. So, from what I understand, this is another book for the Tales of Equestria. Um, tabletop game so um funny enough i do have the book and it's pretty awesome but in all honesty uh, how do i put this it's it's a bit complicated for people who have not jumped into dnd before uh i'm not 100 sure what's the uh, system that they're running on I, I believe that it's their own system because uh, from what I played, there's no kills and whatnot. I mean, you can fight, but it's kind of frowned upon. Uh, they really want you to talk your way in and out of things. And fighting is a last resort, from what I can remember. And the character building aspect of the thing, it's okay, but how would I put this? It's it's something new. Like uh, initially, there's three "quote unquote" pony races. Uh, you got the Earth Pony, Pegasi, and Unicorn. Uh, Alicorns are there, but they're locked behind a pay. <laughs> no, not paywall. Uh, they're locked behind a wall where normal players can't get them unless your GM is really, really loosey goosey with the game. And I'm guessing that. Nah, man, like, you ain't getting uh, Alcon status anytime soon. Like, if your characters are level 20, they'll think about it. It breaks canon and whatnot. But from what I can remember and what I can understand about the game, it's a lot of fun, yet it's a bit challenging. Because here's the thing. For me, playing the game consists of needing people who want to try out the game. Unfortunately for me, I don't have access to that. Okay, so uh, scratch that problem out. Uh, The next one is, okay, I could try and get played online. Okay, um, probably I would, I can have friends who know how to play it, but it's one of those things where I'm in a situation where 
I am destined to fail at this task. Uh, what I mean by that is, I live in Malaysia, and most of the people who wants to play this are probably in the United States or Europe, and the time zone and time difference is so huge. Like for me in the States, if you're talking about the uh, eastern side of the United States, uh, it's a 12 hours difference, 13 hours difference probably because of uh, daylight savings time. So if they want to have a game at 2 p.m., I have to get up at 2 a.m. to play the game. And most D&D sessions last for hours. You can have a game, like you have you, the quick game is probably two hours. A s- long game will probably be eight hours. So, depending on the GM and depending on the game, probably will be about two to four hours for me to play and not fall asleep. Then the second challenge is the books upon books upon books that are available. So in my case here, I need to have the core book, which I have, but then I need to get the monster manual and so on. And I am guessing probably you guys at home are saying, but Norman, you can get them online. I think the Humble Bundle is having a sale on them. Yes, true. That is true. But at the same time too, for me, do I buy a book where I only use it once or not at all? or save my money for something else. So this is one of those things where things compile and make me think, should I play the game? Should I try it and whatnot? And in all honesty, I really want to play the game, but there's no people that I know that wants to play the game. Back in the days, probably, but now, nah, man. But... That aside, let's move on to the next topic and next topic as well. What have I been doing with my week? Uh, as you can see, um, we got some new tech here. The camera is kind of fancy. Uh, what, I mean, what I mean by that is, well, take a look, see at this. So this is the old camera. This is just a Logitech webcam. While this is a... Sony DSLR, sorry, not Sony, uh, it's a Canon DSLR that I have and I use for work. And I just thought that, hey, uh, since I do have this camera, why not I use it to make myself look better and stuff? And it works, yay, but there's a lot of things that I need to be wary about. Like, getting this project done is kind of a headache beginning um getting the drivers done getting the let, let's say everything like getting everything done was just a big headache but in the end it's worth it it's worth it because you guys are getting the best of the best like you're looking at a better quality probably not like <laughs> probably you guys are just used to that camera there but that's besides the point that's besides the point <clears throat> so Let's get on to what have I been doing with my week. Yes, um, besides uh, getting the camera hooked up, um, I have... Well, I'm trying to remember because do, did I do anything significant? Mm, okay, um, the other day, uh, I think what it was on a Thursday? Yes, on a Thursday that my friend... Wow, that's going to be something else. Anyway, um, my friend invited me to his mom's birthday party yes so went to the party had a lot of fun and met family members and whatever it was a quote-unquote middle range gathering i mean with the pandemic and all you can't really group up in one place so yeah but anywho um helped my friend pick up his sister at the airport and whatnot and then I went to the house to price them. I mean, it was a whole awesome event. Uh, everybody was having fun. Everybody was eating a lot of cakes and food and whatnot. It was it was a lot of fun. Then I uh, went home, rest for a bit, then went out to play some Magic the Good Ring. 
And if you're wondering um, what's the status of the quote-unquote pandemic over here, uh, we're where I am, we're in this state of, okay, uh, we need to be wary, uh, still put on your PPEs, and keep a safe distance from one another, and just be safe. For me, I did all of the. Sorry, I for me, I did all of those. I uh, put a mask on the entire time. Uh, make sure to, well, just be safe. So yeah, um, over here, uh, gatherings and whatnot. Uh, well, shop gatherings where you hang out at shops. Those are limited to a few people at one place in one spot. And when I was hanging out at the shop, it was not that bad. So, uh, what am I going to do, well, next week? Um, well, according to the calendar, next week is going to be Christmas. So, what's the plan? Um, you know what? Probably I'll do a Christmas special, something like that. I mean, I'm 100% sure. What I do know is that I will probably do... Hmm, I'm not 100% sure. It's one of those things where, what will I do? I usually record on the Saturday. And I, I guess we have to wait and see. I guess we have to wait and see. But other than that, nothing much. So let's wrap things up. Oh boy, this is going to be really strange for me to read out. Okay, so anywho, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show is Twitter account is at the Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Roman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and also Stitch Radio, and also our Facebook page. You can also catch us on FunnyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. If you like, if you please, uh, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, we can catch me, Silver Quill, and Totera reviewing the Pony Comics episodes. And specials. And sometimes we like to do other things than ponies. And well, those are video games, animes, comics, cartoons, and so on. And if you like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash NDS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast exclusive and digital content. And also a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight. Jeffrey, best of luck, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll get you. And I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode. Yes. See ya.